Okay, so this is already part two of our discussion for the sociological perspective. Um, yeah, the previous video, I hope you watched it. We talked about the self in the culture and society. So now we will be talking about the self in family. So what are the influences of your families with your conceptions of yourself? Okay, so this is a famous video from Albert Pandura. I don't know if you're, you've known about this video experiment. Uh, okay, so as you can see, um, so on siya sa bata. Okay, ang gipuhat sa model. So what happened in this experiment? No, this is the Bobo doll experiment. This is a very famous experiment back then. And um, ang ilang gibuhat is na ay model na maghimo sa doll. And then ang naitabo is kisuon siya sa bata. Ang bata nagtanaw sa TV. It was once widely believed that seeing others vent aggression would drain the viewer's aggressive drive. As you can see, exposure to aggressive modeling is hardly cathartic. Okay. So ang purpose of the experiment actually is to see how um, children copy the model's behaviors. Kesa may model ang nila, no? Ang model is katong girl. Kani siya yung gitna. Do it down model. and beat it. So you can watch this video sa YouTube. You can just search Bandura's Bobo Doll Experiment. Okay, so um. Again, you can search the video sa kanang YouTube, no? It's just there. Um, it's very interesting. So, the influence of family usually affects our understanding of the self, no? Your father, your mother really um, influences you as a person. Um, for example, my mother is a psychologist. And akong gikuha na kurso pag college is psychology po. My father is a researcher and a mathematician. And um, ako apong sideline sometimes is mag-research ko. Okay? So, we are influenced by our families. Um, so, babies internalize ways and styles that they observe from the family. So, there are children. Um, I'm, hindi ko nila lahat. I'm not generalizing, no? But there are families or children who came from abusive parents. And pagdako nila, nagminyo sila, ilan nang napass down, ilang gi physically abuse po ilang anak because it's a never ending cycle ang uban no but some they were able to let that go let go of that toxic cycle so um point here is that grabik ayog modeling ang family nato especially our parents so what you kamo po kon mo mo magka anak mo no it's really important that but lang you instill in them the vir virtues of being a good um, person. Because kamo man ang models in your mga anak. So that's for the self and the family. Next, we will be discussing about the gender and the self. So gender is an important aspect of the self. When we say gender, it's different from sex. Sex, okay? Sex is your physical um being for example you have a reproductive organ of a male and then you also have a reproductive organ of a fem female so sex is um rather biological gender is an orientation so you can be a part of the lgbtq you not know, the lesbian gay uh, bisexual trans queer and others uh community you can um um you can be heterosexual or you can be homosexual. That is gender. Um, sometimes, not sometimes, but often, uh, society forces a particular identity onto us, depending on our gender. If lucky ka, particularly in the Philippines, no, grabe ka ayo ang masculinity ideologies here in the Philippines. Na. If lucky ka, di ka kumuhila ka, bayot na ka. No, if lucky ka, sensitive ka, bayot na ka. If lucky ka, niya, di ka kaibaw mo sumbag, bayot ka. Which, which is really, but they, you know, that's really wrong. Because you can be a boy and you, you can cry. 
and that will not change. Sexual orientation or gender, your orientation towards yourself, depending on who you identify as, lesbian or gay, does not indicate whether you cry or not, okay? It means to say um, you identify as that gender and you're attracted to certain people or certain sex, okay? But this actually no, um, was already modified because of various movements, no, from feminist movements to LGBTQ. Now, the feminism movement is actually um, misunderstood widely. Kay, sa kadagag branches niya, no, naatay radical feminism, naatay liberal feminism, we have the industrial feminism and all other sorts of categories of mga feminists. You know, they have different ideologies. For radical, um, grabe na, uh, kuan na sila, from the word radical, they're into extreme ideologies. For example, they're very much against with body hair na mag-shave because for them, that's, um, that's a product of um, patriarchy. In a sense, no, there is a story back then about that. Uh, if you're interested, you can search more on that. No, what I've read somewhere is that back then, dili magid mag shave ang mga women sa armpits. But because na ay shaving company, no, kana bitang tig anak sa laki, ng balba sa laki, no, it's a shave, shaving company. And then they're looking for more customer base, more larger customer base. So they tried advertising it. To women, but the only problem is, dili ba kay buhokon ang mga babae? So, nag-think sila na, uh, how do we advertise this product so that kwaon sa mga women? So, what they did, they advertised body hair as dirty. Okay? So, as you can observe, no, even in your own self, no, you try to question, look at in the mirror, and tanawa yung mga buhok-buhok sa ilok na tanawa, ifugawan mo, and that could be a product of the media manipul manipulating your brain. No, so to go back, um, that's the ideology of radical feminism. No, they're against um shaming people for their body hair because for them it's natural and oh nga naman, um body hair is natural. No, it's part of being human. And why do the some consider it consider it as dirty? Um, industrial feminism, actually, uh, um, their ideologies include fair wages and such. And more on that. If you're interested, no, and and um, we have some people who don't really understand the concepts of feminism because nga kanang grabi na kay siya ka widespread. Now there are some na nabubinuang na mutuo sila na feminism na okay. So um bottom line here and what you should learn and what I want my students to do is before mo makigyaw yaw sa Facebook. You always research. You always fact check. Ay mo pagpina. Ingong beto si Miss na dapat radical feminist yung ano ano. Even ako, do not trust kung unsa kung giingon. Always research, cause I'm only human. I have flaws. Okay, always research. Okay. So masculinity is socially constructed, no? So boys are more prone to be asked to assert their manliness than girls asked to assert their femininity. So as I told you, masculinity is more malleable socially kay ang social um, values may mag-dictate kung unsa ka na laki compared to females. Kay mas natural man in a way na, for example, sa may social construction sa mga females, mothers, um, caregivers, right? Um, and this has biological um, roots. For example, um, women are mothers because they have the reproductive organ to care for their youngs inside their tummy. You know, we have uterus and such. We birth them. But a um, male is their, for example, social constructions of males. Um, they're construct constructed as providers, for example. And unsa may biological ko ansa provider, di ba wala? So mo na siya ang kimin aninas na sentence no or um idea that masculinity is more socially constructed, which is why um sometimes it will lead to dangerous ideas no of masochism, ma machoism, machoism meaning pamacho macho lang ka, makig 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 
makiaway ka arong imong laki chuk ka um manungog ka og kanay mo mga effeminate na mga barkada na laki kay arong imong laki kanya siya bayot okay imong sungugon kay dikdi siya kay bang duwag basketball nya yeah. imong so, so, sungugog bayot so that's wrong ha because not every not dili tanang laki maayog sports nay uban artistic music musically inclined no so um we should uh, be very very wary about that okay um yeah i guess that's it so there are um various construction of yourself according to your gender I have another video for you. Um, this is a famous commercial again. Um, let's watch this. Okay, so I hope you were inspired by that video. No, um, sometimes we believe something because mo na siya ang pagtakot nato. But again, we are humans. We're we're very smart people uh, we're very smart creatures we're capable of changing this biases biases that was inculcated in us when we were young okay so as you've read uh, you can read here in the quote no girls can be athletic guys can have feelings of course <laughs> girls can be smart guys can be creative of course and vice versa no gender is specific only to your reproductive organs and sometimes not even to those not your interest likes dislikes goals and ambitions you can be any um you can have or want any job that you want and that will not dictate your sexuality okay so we're now the last part to summarize that we talk about um, this self has influences no and we call that the societal influences particularly the family society and as a whole no? our culture and of course gender so i hope you learned today um i hope that um after watching this video you will be more enlightened um and smarter filipino citizens because I really think that dili ratas koan employees for other countries. So in a way, you know, understanding the self is very little lang. Pero you don't know the effect of that later on. Sa inyo hang personality, in yung choices with what you choose, well, particularly sa inyo mong job, sa inyo hang partner in life and how you raise your children's uh, children in the future maybe maybe lang no? it will help or uh, what we just talked about will help so yeah i hope you learned something today and um always uh keep safe and have fun learning